Hello, this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making some okra sauce, but I'm going to do it with a lot of draw. I want it to be very, very slimy, so I'll show you how to do that. So I'm using two packs. This is 12 ounces. You can cut it if you want, but I just got these at Walmart. And I've got two packs of that. I have some dry fish that I smoked in my oven. This is mackerel. I have some meat and pig feet in my pot. I have some crab. It's blue crab that I had steamed and had in my freezer. So that's why you see it's in Ziploc bag. I'll be using some Liberian palm oil. If you need this particular one, just Google any Liberian um, African store. I have some adobo seasoning. I have complete sazon seasoning. I will be using some pepper. That's habanero pepper. Onion. And this is one of my favorite um, Maggie cubes to use. The Vita. V-I-T-A. You can also Google any African store and see if they sell it. I have some salt. And I will be eating it with some banku. It's spelled B-A-N-K-U. So let's start with my okra. I have my pot that's on the stove. I've got my meat and pig feet in there. I don't have the fish or the crab yet. So I'm going to cover it and let it steam for about five minutes. And I will be back. I wanted to steam in its own juice before I put water and start to season it. While it's on the stove, I'm just going to cut one of my yellow onion. I'm going to cut two of my pepper. And the other ones, I'm just going to leave it cold. So it's all cut up. I'm waiting for the five minutes to be up. And we're going to go season it and put some water and let the meat start to boil. It's been steaming for five minutes. And I'm going to pour some water in there. I'm going to put some of my complete sazon seasoning, some adobo seasoning, and a little bit of salt. Let me put some more water in there. And I'm going to put the top back on and let it cook. And I'll be back. I have a bowl. I'm just going to open my okra. And dump it in there. For the two packs of okra, I'm going to put some of my baking soda. And it's for baking, for cleaning, that's the kind. And just mix that in. I have my pot. I'm going to put some oil in it. Then I'm going to drop my okra in there. I have 
my stove on medium and I'm just gonna continue to stir it. You can see how it's getting very slimy. It's the baking soda that's going in. My stove is on medium and I'm just gonna continue to stir it every few minutes. This is after five minutes, but I'm still gonna cook it in the oven. See how much slime is coming out. So let me continue to cook it. My meat and pig feet been boiling for 40 minutes. And I'm going to add my crab. And I'm going to cover it and let it continue to cook. It's been 15 minutes and you see all the drawer that's in there. I'm just going to set it aside until my meat is ready. It's going to be time for me to put in my fish, so I'm dropping in my pita cubes. It's going to break up. You, know, you can squeeze it with your hands if you want, but usually I don't. I just drop it in there and just let it cook with the food. And now I'm going to put in my okra. for me to start adding in my fish because my okra is ready and just mix that in and in five minutes I will plate my food and I have my okra cooking on low. I added it last because I didn't want my dry fish to get mashed up because it's not hard. It's dry but not hard. So when I smoked the fish it's already cooked but I just needed it to just mix up in the sauce. So a few minutes and I'll plate my food. My okra sauce and banku is ready. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel Hit that notification button so each time I upload you will be notified. Bye bye.